Good morning. Oh my goodness, look, I'm crooked. I'm a minute late this morning. Aren't I just rocking it out? But hey, short of, now I have a leaky eye, I'm not crying. Short of, the one little tear visiting with you guys this yesterday morning where I came to the very good morning, my friend, I love you. Um, where yesterday I had one little moment of tears when I got to my seventh level of, well, sixth and seventh, the realization that recognition and appreciation really is important to me and level seven, mwah, uh, I, I to feel like I'm enough. And it's still, it, it has been years since I read that book, did it the first time, I still cry. <laughs> it's it's my it's my truth but here's what's cool what we're gonna visit about today good morning oh my god I love you ah oh god what we're going to talk about today is our three versions of ourselves and this is what's cool that I get to share with you because I have a rock star psychologist so yesterday is the first day in 12 days that I have not cried right Thank you, because you guys seriously are walking beside me through my, my pain and my growth, because this is the absolute, honestly, most growth I've ever done. So I've been through some shitty stuff, right? Bankruptcy was tough and I, and I went deep then. I spent a lot of time, sorry, somebody's blocking, a lot of time inward during that year that I was in my little dark hole hiding from life, anxiety and depression and 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 this is good. This is this is massive for me. So one of the things I got to visit with Darian about was was that three year old child that I talked to you guys about and then I, I often start to cry and and he was like, all right, this is interesting. Tell me, what does your three-year-old child tell you? And I said, well, I think she was hurt a lot. I think, I think she really felt inadequate in that she wasn't pretty enough, <laughs> right? Remember, I was an ugly baby and told from a very young age. <laughs> And thus, growing up to always have my hair done, always have makeup on when I was younger. Now you guys have seen me in far less put together places. But but also, you know, that's where our, our, our unapologetic authenticity starts to disappear. It's when we feel not good enough. When we feel, you know, when the bully comes to the playground and tells us that you're fat, you're ugly, you're stupid, get away from me and hurt people hurt people. So know that anybody who is a mean, <laughs> the mean girls, it's because inside they're hurting, right? And so then they lash out and then, you know, us more empathetic, sensitive types, we just feel shrinkish, you know? We hide and we try not to stand out or, or shine our light and and then it turns into, you know, or can turn into a lot of other kind of self-destructive um, codependency, you know, things that, that don't serve us in the end. So here's what Darian shared with me about my three-year-old. He said, Sandy, she's there to protect you. And I think I touched on this the other day. Can you imagine if you thought you were good enough and people treated you like that? Oh my gosh, you'd be miserable. But instead, you are the most grateful and generous person. So, <laughs> so that's not a bad thing. She's protecting you every single day. She's also the voice in your head that says, don't cut corners, Sandy, you know better. She's also the, you know, the one that wants to lift the child on the playground who really is hurting or gets picked on or bullied and so really know that that version of yourself whether you know I mean I have some wonderful men on here that version of yourself that three-year-old version that's 
that's like the most beautiful, still seeing the world in awe, but at the same time growing into that deep character of yourself, that that kind, that that caring, that, you know, wanting to please, because we all, basic human, want to be accepted and loved for who and what we are, right? That's where. So, fabulous. Now I'm in love with my three-year-old self and and don't and don't cry about it anymore. I don't I don't feel like I'm not good enough. I honestly don't feel like I'm not good enough. Really. <laughs> Which I know is ridiculous and I know you guys all love me and think I'm being absolutely stupid, but I swear my life this is my conversation right throughout my life this is my pain place where you know just because my programming said you were an ugly baby sandy i don't remember you as a baby sandy i have a brother 10 and a half months older than me who and then a, another brother four years older so they took the energy or whatever and i just sat in the corner <laughs> i'm like well clearly you fed me so you know thanks mom <laughs> but but then now there's this 90 year old version and this was this was I can't remember how this was introduced to me but it was in a meditation and it was it was close your eyes and and go to a garden place and you know walk through your beautiful meadow or mountain or where your happy place is by the ocean and sit down at a table and then see across from you is this white haired, kind, beautiful version of, or man or woman of you. And see, look really closely at this person. And then start a conversation, ask a question. Any question that you have in your life, ask that version of you and guaranteed and, and if you do this and I mean I invite you to spend 10 minutes doing this today guaranteed that 90 year old version is going to tell you slow down drink it in spend more time with people who love you and matter and less time with people who are the squeaky wheel demanding your time and understand whatever hardship that you're going through is to take you to a new level as long as you look for the lesson and not stay in the darkness which is the anger which is driven by fear of not being good enough <laughs> and i mean this stuff goes this stuff goes so deep and you just absolutely absolutely ask any question you can do this every day every week every month every year whatever it is but that version but here's what's super cool that darian shared with me that version is also the one when disrespected or felt feels disrespected rises and roars that is the version that can turn and he oh gosh and i will share with you when i go back and and watch again listen again to our session or when i see him again um but in the in the back in the castles and nights the old woman that asks to get carried across the water or that shows up to assist the young knight has a name in the in the that version of the universe and and he said she she when treated well is a huge gift <laughs> and when disrespected <laughs> turns into the evil witch and she will cast a spell and she will she will deliver a doom upon whomever dares disrespect her and i'm like oh my god oh my god i am i am on fire in love with these two versions so he says but sandy the trick is to kind of bring them both into your today so that you're not you know kind of in the past or in the future because all the power is in the present moment the moment of now and and so the days so days 97 98 99 are sort of the this last 12 days i'll put into my journey so that when i'm through it i can share with you authentically 
that dark side of me, that the place that I went where I was the ugliest person I've ever been and never want to go back there ever, ever, ever. And and just how when I I didn't stay in my integrity, I allowed my pain or my feeling of disrespect to take me to a place that is not me. That is, I mean it is, it's my it's my 90 year old evil witch <laughs> spreading doom across the land. <laughs> Who knew we were so powerful, right? <laughs> So, so I invite you to spend some time today. I just, I, you guys, this is magic. This is so, so deeply magical. And just, you know, I, I don't know for sure, but I really feel like I'm on, I'm on the winning side of my, my pain journey. I mean, apparently I'm at the beginning of it, but I, that's okay. I can, I can handle it. I can handle it. So thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for making me show up. Thank you for just inspiring me every single day. You guys, your loves, your comments, your, the conversations, the phone calls, the reaching out, the, all of it has, I swear I have gotten through six months in 12 days because of you. So, so thank you again. And yeah, Go, go, go hang out with uh, the kid and the, <laughs> and the wise one and see what comes up for you today. I love you. Have a brilliant day. Mwah.